So what's the role of the decentral adapter engine uh, of the AEX? Um, so the the decentral adapter and the decentral deployment option has been there all the way from from start of, of PI uh, or XI, I guess, uh, in the beginning. And uh, the main f reason why you, you have it is you want to be able to to create adapters or systems or integration system that you can deploy wherever you want. So. Uh, if you have a global organization and you have local messages running in, in specific data centers, it may be beneficial just to move this, uh, this decentral adapter engine to, to those uh, specific cases. Um, so you don't have to transfer data back and forth between your main PI and the decentral one. Um, other use cases I have uh, seen people have been using it as a way of doing a little more specific load balancing. Um, so they're able to say, okay, we got our EDI scenarios running on this uh, decentral adapter engine, and we got uh, some of the uh, other, other less critical one running on this one. So even if one of the systems go down, they would still be able to, to process the same thing and you'll be able to see these are the things that are actually going on. Um, so I think that's the, the two use cases, the, the distributed one, and globally one and the one where you just want to do load balancing and say okay we can take our central down um, for a shorter period of time um, before we're upgrading the, the decentral one but obviously these two depends a little of each other so um, you're not able to to take it fully down the the, the main one uh, and wait with upgrading the other ones. I think they need to be pretty much in sync uh, all the time. Uh, so I guess it would be a little challenging to figure out how can we we stop one of them versus stop all of them. Um, um, but but uh, in, I guess in, in the, the decentral one, there's also the option of saying, okay, we just have the JGE engine there running. We'll send it into our integration system locally and run it there. And you don't need that anymore because you have a full-fledged system running there. There was um, another option. It was called Partner Connectivity Kit. I guess that was uh, an XI3 server. I'm not sure if that's still available. But that was basically a PI server running standalone and would be a way, something you could install at a partner system. It would open and they would then be able to, to set file communication from you and, and send it into your uh, central uh, PI system. So that would be a, a way to handle these things and make it a lot uh, easier to, to deal with. Um, that you can simply just log on to or the partner could send in messages in this way so that would either a partner would either be a, uh, yeah a, a real customer that you want to do files so you would they would write files into the file system and then would be sent with the xi30 protocol to uh, your central xi system at that point in time or the other one is you have uh, processing you want and at the different nodes uh, and want to pick up files and send them into to the central system um, because obviously there could be use cases where it uh, yeah files is, is is created and you don't have uh, access to to display them locally or remotely um, but yeah uh, decentral adapter and and, and I guess the reason why you don't want to go so the the other option is to have two uh, PI systems um, instead of a decentral adapter engine, and, and that also is uh, has some advantages. So if you have two PI systems, you can take one down to do your updates of it, and maybe use the other one as as, as failover or, or, or fallback and run it through that one. Once this is upgraded, you can upgrade the the the, the other one um, it's obviously a little complicated and you have to be pretty sure on what you're doing and 
you have to configure things uh, twice. Uh, monitoring is also a little challenging because you have to make sure that both uh, it's configured on both or if you have someone that says hey we got this problem that you know where it, it what occurred and, and who did what with it um, so that is one of the the, the features that uh, that we have um, what else yeah uh, so we are, I've seen that at, at customers also as a way to to make sure that we have better uptime, that we can scale it out in, in a different ways. And then obviously you could have clusters and you could have uh, multiple different nodes in, in different data centers. So if one data center falls, you can always uh, use it on the other one. Um, but the full application needs to be upgraded at the same time. Uh, so that can also be uh, a little, uh, challenging something. Thanks for, for liking the video as shock.